Cisco Prime Land Management Solution, or LMS, is offered as part of Cisco Prime Infrastructure. It delivers powerful network lifecycle management simplifying the configuration, compliance, monitoring, troubleshooting, and administration of Cisco networks. The following video will describe how to analyze the network with Cisco Prime LMS. This includes viewing the network inventory, generating PCERT, EOS, and EOL reports, finding the best practice deviations and discrepancies, and using the contract connection. Let's begin. This first module describes how to view the network inventory using the dashboard and the detailed inventory report. To quickly view information about the network devices, navigate to Inventory, Dashboards, and click on Inventory. The Inventory Dashboard helps you view information about the managed devices in your network. The Hardware Summary Portlet displays a pie graph showing the distribution of all managed Cisco devices in the inventory. Each pie section represents a Cisco device category. If you click on one of the slices in the pie, you will launch the hardware report providing more detailed information about the devices. The Software Summary Portlet displays the software version information and count for selected device categories. If you click on one of the counts, the software report displays the devices running that version of the software. Click the printer icon in the upper right hand corner to display a printer friendly version of the report. The device change audit portlet displays the changes in the inventory and configuration information for all devices after every inventory or configuration collection. Finally, the Discovery Summary Portlet helps you troubleshoot discoveries. For example, you can click on Account to display a detailed report of unreachable devices. To generate a detailed inventory report, navigate to Reports, Inventory, and choose Detailed Device. Use the device selector to choose the desired devices. In this example, I'm choosing all devices. From the scheduling dialog, choose a run type. You can schedule the report for the future, run it periodically, or generate the report immediately. For an immediate report, you don't need to complete the job info, just click Finish. The detailed device report displays comprehensive information about the chosen devices. You can select the device to be displayed on the screen. This module describes how to generate the Product Security Instant Response Team, End of Sale, and End of Life reports. Navigate to Admin, System, Cisco.com and click on User Account Setup to configure the Cisco.com user account. This screen must be configured with a valid user account in order to download the latest PCERT, EOS, and EOL data from Cisco. Navigate to Admin, Network and click Compliance Policy PCERT EOS EOL settings to configure the system job schedule. If you have not configured the Cisco.com account, a pop up screen will appear so you can enter one. This job must complete successfully before you can run the reports. Click on the PCERT EOX report options to choose the data source for the report. Note that there is a local option in case you have to manually download the data from Cisco.com for LMS servers that do not have access to the Internet. We are now ready to run the reports. Navigate to Reports, Fault and Events, and click PCERT Summary to generate the report. Complete the PCERT report options. In this example, I am choosing all of the devices from the device selector and I'm using the default run type of immediate. Don't forget you must supply a job description before you click Finish. Close the message window and click on the blue arrow refresh icon to determine if the report is done. Then click the View link to display the PCERT report. 
The summary report, which is based on the PCERT ID, contains the description of the vulnerability, the severity, which Cisco Iowa software versions are affected, and which devices contain the vulnerabilities. You can also click on the document ID to view the Cisco PCERT advisory document. To generate the EOS and EOL reports, navigate to Reports, Inventory, Hardware, and choose EOS slash EOL Hardware. Once again, I am choosing all of the devices in the device selector and accepting the default run type of immediate. After entering a job description, click Finish. Close the message window and click the blue arrow refresh icon to see if the report is done. Then click View to display the report. The End of Sale and End of Life report displays the hardware and software images based on EOS and EOL information retrieved from Cisco.com at regular intervals. You can click on the bulletin number to see the EOL and EOS announcement document at Cisco. This module describes how to generate the best practices deviations and discrepancies reports. For best practices and deviations, navigate to Reports, Fault in Events, Best Practices, and choose Deviations. Choose the devices from the device selector. Choose the desired deviations from the available types pane, and click Add to move them to the selected pane. For this report, you don't have to enter a description for an immediate report. All you have to do is click Submit. The Best Practices Deviations report shows variations from the normal or recommended practices in a network. These do not have any serious impact on the functioning of the network. Some of the best practice deviations can be fixed using Cisco Prime LMS. If a recommended fix is available, you will see a fix link. Click on the link to view the recommended fix. If desired, you can modify the commands before deployment. Make sure your changes are valid before deploying them. For discrepancies, navigate to Reports, Fault and Event, Best Practices, and choose Discrepancies. Choose the desired devices from the device selector. You can also choose from both medium and high severity discrepancies. Choose the desired discrepancies from the Available Types pane and click Add to move them to the Selected pane. When you are ready, click Submit. The Discrepancies report displays discrepancies in the network, enabling easy identification of configuration errors such as link speed mismatches or duplex mismatches. This module covers a Cisco contract connection which lets you verify which of the Cisco iOS software devices are covered by a service contract. Navigate to Reports, Cisco.com and click on Contract Connection. You must have a valid Cisco.com user account in order to use the contract connection. The credentials that you enter on this screen will be used for this session. Enter the Cisco.user account and password associated with the service contracts and click OK. The contract connection will list all of the contracts applicable to the user account that you just entered. You can select devices and any of the contracts to get the details for the Cisco iOS software devices belonging to that particular contract in your network. When you are ready, click Finished. This concludes the How to Analyze the Network video. In this video, we covered viewing the network inventory, generating PCERT EOS and EOL reports, finding best practices deviations and discrepancies, and using the contract connection to verify service contracts. For more information on network management, go to Partner Central at cisco.com slash go slash partner nm.